In this video we're going to talk about position registers. So I created two different programs and what a position register is is saved points in space that can be used from program one, program two, or any program. So they're a global position. So example would be for point registers would be a home position, a safe position, or a tool change or tool modification or fixing of a tool position. So let's set up those three positions. So the first thing I like to do is make sure that we are in the uTool number one and also our user frame number one because I never change user frame number one. I always utilize it for our home position. So we're going to go to our menu setup frame. So right now tool frame number one is on and user frame and U frame number one is also on. So if you need to change it, you just go set IND and then one enter. So now we're using user frame number one. So then what we're going to do is we are going to go to data and position register number one record this position because right now I'm actually in the home position so shift record so now you'll see the large R there which means it's a recorded position let's click inside here and then change the name of this so I call this home position now we can look at the information so let's go to position and here is our position now if we need to we can modify this by going to REP and we can switch this to from Cartesian mode to joint mode which means it doesn't matter which user frame you are in it will automatically move to that position so there's pluses and minuses to both of them going to now go back to our data and let's now move this into a tool modification position. So I'm going to go to position and I'm going to move this down just a hair bit. And then I'm going to also rotate my arm. Maybe not so far above. There we go. So now we're directly on and we can also bring this forward just a hair bit so that people can work with that tool. So there we go. So it brings it forward, we'll say probably right around there so they can modify it. So let's save this position. And so I'm going to go data and I'm going to go to point registry number two. And I'm going to record this. So I should go shift record. There we go. And let's uh, click inside here. So I click enter, alphabet key, and then we go tool change, exit. Okay, so now that we have our tool change, um, now I'm going to do a safe position where it's out of the way completely. So I'm going to go position and I'm going to go zero, 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 negative 90 and zero again, move to. So that's our home position. And then I'm going to completely move it out of the way. So I'm going to go say, um, so if I go negative 120 here, it moves it completely out of the way so that we're able to work on our fixture. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go point registry number three. I'm going to go shift to record, which records it. And then I hit enter on that. So I can change the name. And I'm going to call this safe position. Now what I can do easily is now that they're all saved, I can go to select and I can go to program one and I can go to my home position right away. So I just go move point, joint, and then inside here where it says point one, I can click inside there and I can go choice and I can use point registry number one. And notice how it's the home position. Then I can go to my next position, which is add new move point, fine. And then I can go point registry two, which is the tool change. And then we can go to the final point. Can go inside here and we can go choice point registry number three okay so safe position so now i can run this so it goes home goes to my tool change and then to my safe position and it doesn't matter which program i'm in i can go to program two and then i go add move point fine and then i can go in here and use choice point registry number one and it saves it. So it doesn't matter where I have, I can go shift forward here. It saves that home position as long as you're in the correct frame, but you just have to make sure that if you don't have the same frames from program to program, use that joint method instead of the Cartesian coordinate method. So that is how 
point registries are very useful from going from program to program so that you don't have to keep resetting home positions, safe positions, and tool change positions.